Guys, let's go. Listen, listen, this is a, it's a winning mentality thing right now. Wait, wait, wait. Water Dogs looking for their first win in the PLL. Lost their first game against Atlas over the weekend, 11 to 10. 424 left in the game. Winds it up and lets it go. Finds Bird off the pipe. Connor Kelly has the ball. He was the first pick in the expansion draft. Shoots and fires high. 215 left, 23 to shoot. Fired that one in. How? Sprinting away from the cage with no room. He buries it. There's a shot. <laughs> and a save. Down 6-3 at halftime to a 9-7 win for Archers. And the Water Dogs fall to 0-2. Right the Water Dogs, they, they haven't found their footing yet. They, they don't know who their alphas are. Like the Archers, they know where their bread is buttered. We're going to Shriver or we're going to Amen to, to make something happen. The Water Dogs don't know yet to be like, hey, you, go make me a play. Go, go get me a goal. Okay, like from my end, honestly, it, it feels like a buy-in thing. Look, like for us to win this thing, right? Like, but let, let's be frank here, right? Like you guys were unprotected, right? Like we, we can't sit here. We don't have the luxury of being like, Matt Rambo, go make a play. Jordan Wolf, go make a play. Like we have to do this together. That means share the ball on offense, slide and recover and stick to the game plan defensively. And we, we understand we got some really good players, but like, our, our margin of error probably isn't necessarily maybe what other teams have, just because of the newness of it and the short training camp. But as we work through it, like what gives us the best chance of winning, I'm telling you, is just gonna be committing to doing what we're asking of you. The expectation is to freaking win these close games. It's to win these close games. And like, for, it's like, I, I wanna make a selfish play. Like, I wanna do it. Yeah, buddy. Uh, I'll just say one thing, like defense, incredible job today. Keeping them to nine goals is impressive, but we are the unprotected team and like it pisses me off, but like like coach said, like we don't have Schreiber in here. We don't have Jordan Wolf. We don't have Matt Rambo, but I don't want to play with them. I want to play with you guys. I want to play with Drew Schneider, Ryan Drenner, Kieran McArdle. Play like you, you are here for a reason. I want to play with you. That first quarter, we were just banging the ball, open shots all day long. And then, then the second half, we're, we're trying to dodge and be that main guy. Don't try to make that play. Just make the play. Trust in one another. If you, if we continue to believe in one another, man, we're gonna go far. I think just being a part of a new team, being a part of this expansion team, it's a lot of guys feel written off a little bit. And from my personal experience, I wanted to share that because deep down you're like, am I wanted here? Like I was sort of written off. Am I a great player? You have those doubts, even at playing at the highest level. And I've been in a lot of great locker rooms. I've been in a lot of uh, sort of unsuccessful locker rooms and uh, I knew this one is great and I just wanted everyone to be themselves and that's what's going to help us succeed. Listen, you got you got 12 minutes left, okay? And just make sure that when we're walking off this field, your teammates can count on you and they can count on the fact that you can absolutely empty the tank for them, okay? That's all that matters right now here, okay? But just sell out. Sell out, sell out so we can walk out of here heads high here, okay? Let's go, everybody hands it. Everybody hands it. Let's go! Watson, let's go! Ben McIntosh, former Archer. Shot, goal. Chasing that one down, swats it back. DiNapoli. Winds it up and lets it go. Inside of three minutes, it's 13 to eight. And there's another goal. Now it's 13-9. Water Dogs with four consecutive points. Kieran already has four goals, give him five. Zach Courier, over to play. Kelly, rollback shot. Was that a two? That might have been a two. And that would bring Water Dogs to within one. Offside's call with three seconds left, and that's how it'll end. And so again, you see the talent and the competitive level, they're right there. Yep. You see the effort, the hustle, they're also right there. In terms of late game scenarios, if they could clean that up, they're right there, Paul. Right. They're right there. L listen here, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be glass half full, okay? All 22 guys played, all 22 guys made meaningful contributions, and you guys competed your nuts off in half two, okay? 
Don't lose sight of that. Everything we want to accomplish right now is still, it's right out in front of us. And it is for the freaking taking. And every single time I see this group of guys go ahead and compete, I'm telling you, I'm more and more and more impressed with it. I'm more impressed. I mean that. I mean that right now. Okay? So heads high. The best thing that we have going, fellas, is you get to play again in what, 17 hours? In 17 hours. You handle it like a freaking man right now. You take care of your bodies and we go ahead and we get this one tomorrow so we can go into tournament play with a little bit of a positive taste in our mouth. Everybody got that here? That's how this thing's gonna go. Everybody hands in here. Let's go. Listen, I'm telling you, I'm fucking proud of you. I know it doesn't feel great right now, but I'm proud of you, okay? Dogs on three, one, two, three. Dogs. I get sometimes in professional sports, it's win or lose, and sometimes it can be results focused, but our message from very early on was just, you have to you have to embrace the process. I mean, even when we were down big to the chrome, you see the response there down the stretch. Like there is no quit in our locker room and in any of these guys. And I know, you know, people can't necessarily see what takes place behind the scenes, but our, our guys like really like each other. That really, I think, has translated to what you see on the field, like how hard these guys are willing to compete for each other. Now let's get break out of the run in. Send the back over. Walker save. Don't step. Oh, come on. Let's go. Oh, Big he fan. Whiffed. Dot. You whiffed. Oh, goodness let's gracious. Go. Come on! Let's <laughs> go! Overtime winner. You know that's coming. Wow, let's go. I dominated. I deserve that game. I do. Is I don't want to toot my own horn, but oh, I do have the best coach here No, have. Cooch has like one game on me. He's got a lot it's of been a battle. CK, though. He's not yeah, a 2v2. Yeah. Nobody's got Dren. Dren to me. Yeah. The chemistry's unreal. This is where the real ball players come out to play. So the opportunity to come out here and, and compete within a bubble has kind of catered to the challenges that we were faced with as the expansion team. It's given us the opportunity to get to know each other a little bit better and spend more time with each other. We travel together on the same bus to the facility. We hang out here all day, we get our practices in, and then we can continue to spend time together and, and make those connections off the field, which has helped us become more of a team in such a quick time span. The question that was asked about this group of guys since day one, since the day that they named the seventh team and the Water Dogs and the expansion draft, was how fast can this group of guys become a team? You guys have answered that. Anybody who's watched you compete, watched how hard you've competed for each other, you've made that abundantly clear. Okay, the question honestly that still exists a little bit is how good can we be? How good can we be when we play 48 minutes of lacrosse? We've showed it in freaking spurts, 48 minutes today, okay? 48 minutes of our best stuff. We are together. We are more passionate, more energy, louder, tougher. You find a way to go one and no tonight here, okay? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All the confidence in the world, okay? Everybody embrace the role. Do it to the best of your ability. You give every ounce of yourself to this locker room right now. Dogs on three. One, two, three. Dogs. Dogs. Water dogs in purple, chaos in red. Somebody will win for the first time here today. Water dogs have been awfully close here recently, losing three games by a total of four goals. Good look inside to Dixon, spins back, goal. Wide open shot, that to Luca with a save. They still have numbers here. Reese lets it go, two. Cuccinello, one hand. Yeah, yeah! What up, Cooch? His giddy up. Great look to McIntosh, who finishes his second. Save for Blaze Reardon. Blaze Reardon save. Shot. Blaze Reardon, another save. Look, he's making some saves. A little bit unlucky with the pipe here. You just got to keep staying the course and piling it on here, okay? Stay in deuces, simple plays. Simple plays, move your feet here and keep working away from it. Zach Courier scored his first goal earlier in this game. A little swim, might he do it again? And the answer is yes. And we're tied at eight. Kieran McArdle, back to Cuccinello. What a pass, and a finish. Water Dogs on top. Up to Smith, 10 seconds left. All the way in, goal! Dane Smith ties it at nine. Here, okay, listen, you guys just believe. Eyes up here, everybody's eyes up. Chests out here, shoulders back here. You just believe right now that this is it. This is it here, hands in. It's not gonna be any individual making a play. It's gonna be our system that's gonna go ahead and get this thing done now. Let's, Let's go. go. Flips it back. Careless pass there, scooped up by Reese, and here come the Water Dogs. And they've got a man in transition to Napoli, the trailer. 
There he is, DiNapoli, back to Courier. Oh, it! <laughs> that right there is a microcosm of what the Water Dogs envisioned all season long. <laughs> but uh, regardless, we got the win and that's what matters. So it feels good to get one going in tournament play. Okay, unbelievable job. I, I like, look, of, of all the seven teams, fellas, like, I, I think this is a legit statement. I'm not sure there's one team that is as, like, battle-tested as us going into tournament time, okay? One goal win, overtime win, two one-goal losses, a, a, a two-goal loss that, frankly, was a one-goal loss. Like, we have seen the whole gamut. Okay? And you're ready for this freaking moment right now. You know, I think that we've already done a great job of building the culture of the Water Dogs and setting that precedent uh, of, you know, we're going to go out there and we're going to compete and we're going to play our absolute tails off every single second. And that's what you need to be a successful team in this league. You know, every game is close and competitive and you need to have that chip on your shoulder, that edge going into every single play. Um, that you're just going to be a little bit tougher, you're going to scrap a little bit harder, and, and every play just means a little bit more to you. And I think th that's what we've shown so far uh, through group play. 4 nothing run for Redwoods. Way too much celebration right now. This team was down eight goals, and they came back and almost won the damn thing. You understand? All right, we need that same desperation. We got to just play with more pace. Everything's yeah. too slow yeah. right now. Keep moving the ball. Yo, yo, keep moving I don't the ball. Like you guys, I really do not want to pack my shit up and go home, yeah, yeah, yeah. all right? I love this group, let's go, go man. Go, Just go, more go, pace, go. more energy, we know we can beat it. Let's go, let's work hard. Oh, on three, oh, on three. One, two, three. Oh. Water Dogs really need to get something going here. Courier, two point attempt, there it is. Ryland Reese, just what his team needed. Come on boys, let's go now, let's go. If they can cash in here, then you're looking at a one possession game. Westberg, makes it back out, that's for two, and it goes. Connor Kelly makes it a one-point game. Just inside of two minutes. Miles Jones almost had that picked off. Open look, goal. Ryder Garzi, a little more cushion to Redwoods now, up by two. And Arbison picked it off. Up to Perkovic, will he shoot? And score. That's St. Lorenz Redwoods. They move on one step further in the tournament. Water Dogs Championship Series is finished. So part of this expansion build is you have to lay a foundation. And honestly, I think we laid a good foundation and like, like priority number one for me going way, 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 way back when to the expansion draft was just, I want to do it with really good dudes. Look, you need really great lacrosse players, but um, there's a lot of really great lacrosse players at this whole tournament. So kind of talent aside, it's more so the secondary criteria of who's just going to really fit into your locker room, who's going to improve your culture, who's going to totally buy into putting the team first. They're not going to make it about themselves or their, their ego. But I can't tell you how much I've enjoyed being around this group of guys. We got freaking really good guys and really good lacrosse players and just a locker room of guys who are completely made of the right stuff. I want to make the Water Dogs Lacrosse Club a consistent winner, a consistent winner. People want to win championships. I mean, that's that's why these guys do what they do, uh, but they also want to have fun doing it and they want to do it with a great group of guys and with guys that become friends long after this experience. And I think that's what we have. Dogs on three, one, two, three, dogs. dogs.